decarboxylation. This involves the removal of carbon dioxide group from an amino acid. The amino acid react in the presence of one of the B6 forms pyridoxal. It may react in the presence of a metal ion or it may also react in the absence of a metal ion but with a varied degree of the rates of reaction. Once the carbon dioxide is removed, amino acid is converted into an amine. The steps involved within the mechanism are just similar to that of the transamination which we discussed in the last video. The four steps being the removal of water molecule, removal of a carbon dioxide, addition of a H plus and addition of H2O where the process of hydrolysis occur. In the case of transamination, the only change that we found was in step 2, it was a removal of a H plus. We can see that the pyridoxal that is involved is being regenerated. It is not being converted into other forms of the vitamin B6. So this is a mechanism where a metal ion is involved. Presence of metal ion will bring planarity. It also creates some inductive effect where it withdraws the electron density and creating a driving force for the removal of carbon dioxide. The same reaction can also be seen in the absence of a metal ion where we again we are taking a simplest of the examples. Here we can see that there is no involvement of the metal ion and therefore we find only one ring in the intermediates. In all the cases there is only one ring but once a metal ion is present we can also see a second and a third ring. So once a CO2 molecule is removed the acid is converted into an amine. Pyridoxal is regenerated. A similar step and similar mechanism can also be seen for dealdolation where an aldehyde group is removed. Again this reaction occur in the presence of pyridoxal and a metal ion. Once an aldehyde group is removed, it generates an amino acid. We can see the steps involved. The first one is a removal of water molecule where it generates a shift base. In the second step, it is a removal of an aldehyde. Third step and fourth step, these are just similar to that of the transamination and decarboxylation where an addition of H plus and an addition of water molecule leads to the formation of the product, pyridoxal is regenerated. So for convenience, I recommend my students to remember the four steps in a sequence. The first step being the removal of water molecule. Second step is the removal of a H plus in transamination, removal of a carbon dioxide in decarboxylation and a removal of aldehyde in dealdolation. Third step is an addition of H plus and the fourth step is an addition of water molecule where the process of hydrolysis occur breaking the bonds and regenerating the metal ion also the form of vitamin B6. So this is about the three important reactions transamination from the previous video, decarboxylation and dealdolation.